good morning to all of you people. Today we're working on this 2016 Hyundai Ioniq. And the customer complaint is that the vehicle is not starting at the moment. We're having a miss communication between the junction block and the inverter assembly. So we kind of like took it off and uh, take it apart and I will show you right away what is the problem. All right, so we'll continue. All right, so let's see if you can identify this component. This is the power relay assembly. It's also called as a junction block. And let's see if we can identify what's going on over here. The first sign that I saw when I was taking this apart is this cover over here melting. And voila, look what we found in the negative main contactor the connection was completely melted I already cleaned it uh, and apparently this is a common issue in Hyundai vehicles and then there's actually a recall about this part and um, well what we're gonna do is just clean it up put it back in see if we can make the vehicle at least start to take it back to the shop um, and apparently the dealer is going to take care of this component and they will change it for free because uh, as I said it's a recall common issue but I'm testing the relay because I want to find out how come we're having an arc over here how come this is melting so we will continue then. all right as you can see the junction block is almost assembled but when I was checking this is what I found eh? behind the cover of the negative contactor So this is the main this is the main outlet and this component over here is the current sensor and we have our negative contactor All right you can follow it completely melted yeah well what can i say we'll continue then. all right our junction block is completely clean the melting connectors is completely clean i i manually test the relays Apparently the relays are fine. Well, let's see what's going on. We're going to assemble this component right away. Let's see. Let's see. A minute. All right, Junction Block, you belong over here. Now, uh, just a quick reminder to you guys: you do not want to work with this vehicle if you do not have the proper training. Remember, you're dealing with high voltage. All right, you must be a certified hybrid technician in order to put your hands in this type of vehicles. So please do not do this if you don't know, if, if you do not have the proper knowledge, all right? Be careful, that remember, this is for your safety. We'll continue. All right, so the code we're having on the vehicle is the P1B77. Again, next issue with the uh, junction block. So apparently it's a very common issue. All right, and can you open the doors, please? All right. Thank you so much. I got a great assistant here. <laughs> anyway, so we, as I said, we just clean the clean the the melted contacts in the the precharged contactor and the main relay or the, or the main contactor, and we want to see when we start the vehicle. Now we should hear three clicks right now. There you go. So when we get it, the two clicks. Now the vehicle. It's in ready mode, ready to drive. We were just getting one click one before. Liter. How much? All right, so if, so if we're getting one click just now, and uh, if we're just getting one click right now, the vehicle, of course, we're never gonna charge them. We're getting the code P1B77. That is an issue with the pre-charge um, relay, with the pre-charge system. So it's basically the computer is detecting that the capacitor in the vehicle is not charging. So, oh, well, it's a fix, but uh, eventually, sooner or later, they are gonna have to replace the um, pre-charge contact or, or the relay assembly because of the technical bulletins that says so it has a recall for those co components. So we will continue then. We need to now. We're gonna need to now to assemble all this back. All right. Alright guys, this video is for the members of the group. Uh, we finally made the vehicle start again. Uh, we clean all the components inside the negative main 
contact oil was completely melted, but I, I manually checked the the pre-charge and the resistor and everything seems to be fine. So, But apparently, I don't know, for some reason, the, there's an arc creating inside the... Uh, between the pre-charged contactor and its parallel connector with the main with the main contactor but anyway just want to let you know that the vehicle start all right oh. there you go it's in ready mode we have our three clicks that we're supposed to have from this component <laughs> all right so so far so good we're just going to assemble this and uh, take care of the recall that Hyundai has about this component because apparently it's a common issue but if I understand the logic of this component, um, I think it's a software issue because it's not it's, it's the the contactor with the pre-charge contactor. They are not set up at the same time, and if once uh, it disconnects and the other one doesn't connect at the same at the very same time, you will create an arc. So that's what I think it ha it's happening. Anyway, so far so good. All right, guys, so we definitely can say that this is a fix. As I say, uh, we're gonna have to change the junction block eventually, sooner or sooner. But so far, so good. You can work just fine. So I'll see you in the next episode. Later, bye.